Hey everybody, it's Genoa with The Crafty Mess and I'm here with another video for YouTube. Today I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill All-in-One Kit to make this lovely Mother's Day foiled card. If you'd like to know how I make this, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us today. Welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is on. If you are a subscriber already, I appreciate you returning. You're the best part of this channel, and I thank you so much for your support. Make sure you're also hitting the like on this video, sharing with your crafty friends, and that you have your notification bell on. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let me show you how you can add foiling to your Cricut project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, add a shape. Let's do a square. And this is going to be for the base of my greeting card. I'm going to make this black. And then we're going to go ahead and change the dimensions. So we want the width to be eight and a half. And then we want the height to be five and a half. So there I have my note card. Now I'm going to add my score line. So let's go back to shape. Here is the score line. And we're gonna change that to five and a half. So it's the same height as our card. And then what I wanna do is just go ahead and do a line horizontal. And then I'm going to do a line top. And then I know everything is where it needs to be. I'm going to hit attach. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to find a design that I'm going to put on my card. And just so that we can see that score line just for now, let's go ahead and make our black card. Let's do white just so you can see the score line. And now I'm gonna to go to images because I wanna find something to put on the front of my card. So I'm just going to type Mother's Day. And then I'm going to go to operation type, I'm sorry, project type. And then I'm gonna put in phrases and check that box. And we'll pick some, uh, pick one of these to, to do our foiling. I like this one here. So let's go ahead and add to canvas. Okay, so here's our design right here. Right now it's set, if you can look up here, to do a cut. So it would cut it out of cardstock or vinyl, whatever material we put. But I want for it to foil. So. What I want to do first is I want to take my image and I'm just going to size it to the size that I want. Okay, and I'm going to go Dropbox, <clears throat> excuse me, Dropbox over everything and then I'm going to align horizontal. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to align vertical. I apologize. Dropbox over everything and we're going to align vertical. There we go. So I know that it's in the center of that card. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I want to click on just my design and I'm going to change it from a cut. I'm going to go down to pin. Now, because I am using the We Are Memories Keepers foil system, it has to be set up as a pin. It's not going to work if you change it to like it has um, foil right here. Um, that's if you're using the Cricut foiling system. I'm using, we are memory keepers foiling system, so it uses the pen attachment, okay? All right, so I have it changed to pen, and then I'm gonna change it so that it is going to show up as mm, red. And then I'm going to click on my card base and change that back to black. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to make sure everything is on there and you need to hit attach. If you don't hit attach, then I'll show you what happens. Let me go back. 
So right now it's not attached, right? If you hit make it, what's going to happen is it puts the drawing on its own mat and then your card base is on a different mat. We want it all together. So again, I'm going to go up here, align vertical, and then drawing a box over everything, hit attach. Now when I hit make it, you'll see that it's on my card. All right, we're good to go. So I'm gonna change this to eight and a half by 11. And then hit continue. And I'm gonna be using the, uh, some black 110 pound card stock. And so now the important thing is for us to go ahead and get our adapter added to the machine. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the foil quill system that I have from We Are Memory Keepers. And this one had the fine, medium, and bold tips in there. It also comes with instructions, and then it comes with these adapters. Okay, so... I am using the adapter that's going to be for the Cricut machine, but it does give you an adapter for the other um, machines as well, like the Cameo and the Brother and I'm not sure what other ones, okay? And so this one is the fine tip. I believe this one is the bold tip. And then there's a medium tip one as well. Actually, I had it mixed up. So okay, this is the uh, fine, medium, and then the bold. And then you can see the bold already has my little Cricut adapter on it. So for this one, I'm going to be using the fine adapter. So I just remove that. And the fine one is going to be this uh, pink one here. And so you just take the adapter and slide it over. Okay, and at the end of each one of these is this uh, USB cable. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that USB and then you can plug that into your computer or you can plug it right into your Cricut machine. So I'm going to set that to the side. Um, because I want to show you what you need to do with this uh, foiling system. mat okay sorry for all the noise so i have this uh foil quill mat thing here it's going to give you hey guys a whole bunch of reflection but what you want to do is you want to put it down on your mat and then what i do is Um, I take some painter's tape and I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't move. Okay. And then what I'm going to do in Cricut Design Space is move my design down just a little bit so it won't come close to this painter's tape. Okay, so here I have my eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and. You can go ahead and tape that down as well. So I'm just going to tear it in smaller strips. And I know it seems like a lot, but I'm doing this because I, I do want to protect my, uh, my mat. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to get your foil and you want to put it over your paper 
Okay, so I'm going to be using this pretty fuchsia foil. And I cut out a little piece. Well, I guess not so little. But I cut out a piece. And then I'm going to place it on top of the cardstock with the pretty side up. The color pretty side up. And then your um, this board comes with these magnets. So you can either use the little um, tape that comes with the foil system or you can use the magnets that come with this foiling board. Two different things, okay? So this foil quill comes with like some tape that you can use to put your, um, your foil sheet down. But this metal board is magnetic and it comes with these magnetic strips that you can use. So I like the strips because I'm able to get a good contact. Okay, and then I just take the magnet and kind of just do like that to smooth it out a bit. Okay. And so then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you move your rollers over on your Cricut machine. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so these are called star wheels. These little white wheels. And my machine is dirty because, best belief, I got a whole lot of use out of this baby. So what you want to do is you just want to take those wheels and move them all the way over to either the left or right. That one doesn't want to budge. Okay, for whatever reason, my star wheel right there in the middle refuses to move. So, that may cause a bit of an issue. We're going to see. Let's see what happens. So I just went ahead and hit load. Okay, and then on my Cricut machine, it's asking me to make sure that I have my pen. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to swap out our pen adapter casing for the adapter for the foiling system so to do that what you're going to do is unlock this little thing here and then this this thing pops out so you're just going to put your finger underneath it and it should come out okay it may take a little bit of wiggling but it should pop pop out okay so now i'm going to take my fine tip foil um, system with the Cricut adapter already on it okay so that white thing is the adapter and then we're going to put that into the pin slot and then close them up okay so what's going to happen is you then need to take your cord and let me just untangle this Okay, so I have it untangled. So you're going to take your cord and you're going to plug it into the USB port on your Cricut machine. Okay, so I have my label printer plugged in right here next to it, but your adapter is right here on the side of your machine. See, now I have it all plugged in. Now what's going to happen is that light comes on letting you know that it's plugged in and you're going to want to give it a few minutes because it's going to warm up. It's going to get hot. And the heat from that is what's going to allow this foil to transfer onto your cardstock. So we're going to let that sit for a minute and let it get warm. It comes with this little thing here that you can uh, like put underneath there so that um, no burning or anything happens. And then we're going to just let that sit and warm up for a bit. Okay, so it didn't take very long to heat up at all. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit my flashing button. Hopefully it works. Okay, so the magnets aren't posing any problems or issues so far. Okay, so the... Machine is asking for me to insert my pin. 
and my pen at this point would be my foiling. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the cut button and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I unloaded my mat. I cut the excess foil because we can reuse all these pieces. You can see just from the impression on the foil that the tip made that the image is gonna look really crisp. And so the big reveal, there you have it. Look at the details. It really was able to pick up every single line. I love the way that it came out. I decided not to have the machine cut the cardstock for me. I'm going to do that myself. And going forward, what I would probably do is to add my foiling onto a card panel and then add that card panel to the front of my card just to cut down on any confusion confusion as to sizing and um, you know how much foil I need to cut. So... I'm very happy with how that turned out. Hopefully you guys will give it a try. Again, this was the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill set. Now this was the all-in-one kit. However, in my craft group, stay tuned because I am going to be giving out the fine tip foil quill as a gift for participants in our scavenger hunt. My camera's starting to turn on its own. <laughs> so if you're in my craft group, keep a lookout for that. Okay? Let me know what you guys think and leave a comment below. Make sure you're subscribed. Like, like, like. Make sure your notifications are on and share with all your crafty friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one. This is Janoa with the Crafty Mess. Bye.